Hello, hello, hello. It's Karistine here, and we are ready for our little island tour here on T Marsh. It is Christmas, and well, it's after Christmas, and I have decided that it's time for our little tour, and the island's done before we're going to tear it around. I don't know if you guys are excited, but I sure am. All right, so the start of it we have here is just kind of our little opening. I wanted our um, resident services to be kind of close. So when I first made the island, I decided that that would probably be the best course of action. And then we'll just take an immediate left over here. And let's see, we'll hop up down this way, which is a cute little just walkway path. Um, some cute peak accents and a couple little beach things here. Not too much going on, but kind of simple, and it helps it from staying super blank. Um, I feel the same way with these little snow patterns, which I did get them all online, and if anybody's curious, um, let me know in the comments, and I can get you guys all of the codes. Um, let's see. This is our little opening area for the beach here, which we also love, and it leads us into the cute little February carnival but before that we have to enjoy a little spongebob and patrick which i mean everybody does who doesn't they're cute is snot we love it we thought we'd have them here on the island and then here's the February carnival super festive lots of lights very pink one of my favorite little areas of town and um we call it the February carnival after the carnival on my very first Animal Crossing Island, um, Fayberry. And it was like a pretty pink theme as well. Let's see, we're gonna go, I'm gonna kind of peek down here. I pretty much just have the same stuff, like all the beaches just have the same. I didn't really try to decorate the beaches too hard on this one, just because this island is brand new and I thought I would go harder for um, the whole next year. That's gonna be kind of the plan. We've got our little dock here, even though it's so short, which is funny, but it's whatever. Then we've got Captain sitting here, and I put a little light to kind of make it feel like he's got sort of a hangout. So let's see, we'll run through that again. Whoop, whoop. Up, and then I love this little Christmas arch, kind of, not really arch, this whole Christmas bridge inclined thing. Oh, I think it's adorable, and I, like, I love just taking pictures over here. I've done a lot of, like, little cute ones. And here we've got a little sleigh for just anybody who's wanting to hang out and take some cute photos. I put these here because I'm going to throw in, like, some of them are my favorite flowers. Um, I put these in here because I thought I could breed them to black, but I can't because I'm silly. And then these are the blue ones that I plan on getting, um, just breeding more of, and I need to pick that up later, but we'll do that after the tour. <laughs> Let's see, we have got this little cute area... Um, I'll do like a little um, tour of all the villagers next time, but I'm not going to do that this time. This is what I call the West End or the West Side, and these are all the villagers that I love. Like Carmen here, and she's beautiful. I'm going to avoid her, and I feel bad just running by, but it's it's okay. We're going to have a little quick tour. That's kind of the goal for this. Um, but yeah, this is kind of our cute little like little um, celebration area. Um, I throw a lot of items down, like money and items that I'm giving to my friends. Um, I throw a lot of it down here, and then you can just jump down over there and either put all the money into an area that we have down there, or you can just kind of dip out and run. But that's about all we have here on the West End side, and I put all my favorite villages up there for the West End fun. And let's see, we're going to run up all here. And this is our cute little... Um, the Able Sisters area. Sorry, I almost forgot their names there for a second, even though it's right there on top. We've got this where everybody can just sit, and some of my cute little villagers will sit there. Um, I meant to take down some of these trees, but I didn't, which is fine, because I think when we do cute little camera things like this, it doesn't end up being too, like, jacky, which is fine. So we've got that right next to an adorable camping area. With little kitchen stuff and little sort of like self-sustaining kind of things where, you know, they can just catch their own food, cook it, do their little things. And it's just all cutesy tootsie. We've got this up here, which is another little Christmas fun area. Um, I just thought it was really neat and I wanted to put up all these little fun light areas that I just, I love them so much. The ornament trees and the garlands are just probably the cutest items ever. 
Um, Lucky lives here. I know I said I wasn't going to go into the houses, but I think he's just so funny. It's like, hello, homie. Oh, he's building. Oh, I should take my DIY for the day. He's doing stuff. This is funny. Don't judge me that I'm doing this on my little tour. <laughs> Teach me. Here, I'll just take it and then I'll run. I won't waste time learning it on this one. Got it. Bye. All right. So we have this and we just hop over here. Um, this is all filled up. I kind of just made this sort of a junk throw area. I might change it up on the next theme, but who knows? I made a cute little pathway for red when he's showing up. And that was kind of just a little quick thing because I wanted a lot of this space up here. Let's run down here and then we have our little kind of Christmas area. And this was a little bit more open at first because I was trying to have some places for stuff to spawn. But I've decided to just like, you know, block those in certain areas. And I do plan on making um, a very special like little area for the rock gardens. We're going to go through here this way and we've got a few. It's kind of our junk area. This is our east side trash side. Um, just a bunch of junk, flowers, everybody's stuff is all covered in weeds. They like Christmas, but they're not very good at it. And these are all the people that we're going to have just sort of moving out eventually, except for the top one. Um, she is, she just moved in, so we have to transition a little bit. There's Anka, we love her, but she came to this island from another place, and she's from an island named Poopy. And we don't want her, we need a fresh Anka. So we're going to move through from that. Um, and they don't really, they kind of stay over there. They don't bother anybody because they have a little witch up here that ends up actually keeping them in check. All of the bad villagers who are all naughty and being all trash, they end up going through a certain thing. And if they end up making any, like the little witch mad at all, either by desecrating her little cave thing or messing up with her grave or like the grave of her children or anything... They, they kind of go through a bunch of stuff. So it's like we got these big ghosty things where it's like you're locked into that. You walk right up here. There's more ghosty things. These are supposed to light up, but they don't. Or at least I thought they did. You come in here, and if you mess around, you find out. The witch here will turn you into a soup with her little magic pot thing. She'll throw your bones in there. You get cut up with this, and then you become soup. So it's one of those things, and you know, we just kind of tell everybody you moved out. And we just get other people, so it's like, you gotta be good. You know, legend has it, they don't really know who the witch is, but you never know. And we're gonna run through here. I love these little guys. I've been putting them everywhere. I just love their little lights. I think it's cute, and I imagine everybody, like... Just being in too big of a hurry and just like popping a squat there and running over to talk to somebody else. We've got our shop and just like a cute little kind of corner beach thing just to hang out. Um, and you can watch shooting stars this way. Yeah, there's my shooting star. <laughs> um, let's see. Run through here. We've got our cute museum area where you can have a drink of water. Throw some stuff away or craft if you need to. Take a rest. We've got some little farm things here. It's our kind of community garden that everybody works on, along with the orchard there on the backside. And these are all, like I said, my beaches are the same. Gulliver, no! We'll talk to him later. We've got our beaches, and they're all pretty cute, pretty average. Um, I didn't try to make it too detailed. I wanted it like to have enough walking space, but not just look super plain Jane, if you know what I mean. Let's see, we're going to walk up here. Do, 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 do. We're kind of back to the beginning, but... Oh, hello. We need my reaction. Oh, aggravation. Thank you. Love it. Cute, cute, cute. We're going to run in. I normally wouldn't do a big tour of this because I feel like my um, house isn't ready, but... I would love for you guys to see kind of the before and afters of it. Because eventually when the house is really nice, I'm going to do a full house tour. 
Um, but here is um, an entranceway that pretty much just leads you through to the little carnival. And you kind of just hop right back up here. And, like, I just had two entrances on that because I thought it was neat. So we've got our gardens where um, all of these flowers are going to kind of just re-give themselves stuff. Or they're just there to be cute until I find a good place for them. Let's see. Here's the house. And it's it's not, like I said, it's not super fancy, but we like it. We've got some cute little kind of sewing crafting stuff going on here. Um, a lot of Thanksgiving themed stuff, which you guys saw me decorate this on my Thanksgiving stream. And then I built this room off stream a lot. And I don't think I've hardly ever even been in here. It's just sort of like a cute little kitchen nook sort of thing that's all pink themed because I love the color pink. And let's see, we're going to go into, yeah. You know, I might as well show all the rooms. I thought I, I might have, I was thinking about maybe hiding a couple of them, but no. Let's go up to the bedroom. And this one's pretty bare. I do plan on filling it up a lot more, but I like the kind of spooky, just generic vibe. Um, and like these little couch things. Super cute, cozy. I love the old Vincent's TV, like the vintage TVs kind of stuff. Adorable. Let's see. Do, 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 do. All right. I believe this is my little cute streaming room, which we really enjoy. Yes, okay. Super simple, glow in the dark star things. Some couch stuff, a little turntable for music. And then our big fancy gaming chair and setup, which is just adorable and we love it. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'm going to show you guys my basement for last, because like I said, there's a little island lure. Which, if you guys are interested in some, like, you know, me doing like some little storytelling things with this, um, let me know. Like, I can do certain, like, clips of the island and little things where I can, like, make a story out of it. Um, with the witch and, like, little things like that. Let me know if you're interested. I have nothing but time. <laughs> we have the lovely gyroid room, which is where we party. But we gotta change it to my favorite song. Yeah! They're so cute. I love gyroids. I have a bunch of them. They're like one of my favorites. Gyroids, gyroids, however you guys say them. Let me know if you say it like gyroids, like as in my guy, my dude, or if you say it like gyroids, like gyrate your hips in the comments. Let me know. Super cute. Wah, wah. Or if you guys think these are gross, because a lot of people also think they're gross. Um, my good friend Savage Sage thinks they're the worst thing in the whole world. But I think they're so funny. Wah, 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 wah. They're all jamming too. Like, how can you say they're so ugly? And it's cute because they also like make noises too without you. Like, they still sing if you don't have music. I think that's adorable. So let me exit out of that. And they just have their own little songs. I just think that's cute. Yeah, it's like classic. Not everybody has to like it, but I think it's cute. We'll let them jam in their little dark party area. That's Gyroid Center. <laughs> All right, let's see. And then we've got one little last area of the island that I'm going to show you guys, which I'm super stoked about. So we've talked about how the ugly villagers get sent away. Nobody really knows what happens to them. There's a legend of a creepy witch that nobody knows about. Well, turns out the witch was me. Ha 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 ha. I eat all of the villagers. They're all mine. I eat them all. I cook them up and then we have the same little pot and their magic and all their energies come here 
too, and I get to suck it all up and enjoy it, and it's wonderful and creepy, and I am the winch, and it's great. I'm Santa winch right now, which is fine. We don't care. Eh, wait, we don't want to do that, but bam. Bam. Super creepy Christmas town, but we love it. And that's pretty much the entire island tour right now. There's a little bit of story, a little bit of nonsense, but pretty much overall super cute and wonderful. I hope you guys had a wonderful time watching this. I hope that you guys let me know all of your favorite parts in the comments. Like and subscribe, and even dislike if you don't even like it. Let me know. And if you have good ideas for the islands or if you want to see something, totally let me know because I think it would be absolutely wonderful. Thank you guys again, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.